Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Blackstone Valley Ice Arena in Hopedale, Massachusetts. Alongside Rob O'Keefe, this is Patrick Garby to bring you coverage of the Milford Scarlet Hawks hockey season. Tonight, the Hawks take on the Mansfield Hornets, who are coming off a win and have recently snapping their two-game losing streak. Milford, on the other hand, just saw their three-game win streak snapped at the hands of Holliston. We'll see if they can rebound tonight. We have the opening puck drop coming up next. Welcome back to Hopedale. We're about set for the first period here between the Mansfield Hornets and the Milford Scarlet Hawks. This is a big game for Milford, Rob, as they're starting to get into the tougher part of the schedule. Definitely going to be a test the next few games. Uh, and they definitely need to come back tonight with a win. Mansfield is not a team to fall asleep on. Play is underway here in the first period inside Mansfield's own end. Making crisp passes out of the zone. That one got to Captain Jared Collins, who was just a bit off sides there. And play will be taken back to the neutral zone now. Mansfield showing a little bit of pep in their step on the first shift there. Maybe a little bit too much. But hey, that's never a bad thing. Off the draw here, controlled by Kelleher. Played up. Coming in is Farragher. Farragher lose it. Now back to the point for his brother. At least we assume. <laughs> Alec Gilliatt now from Milford, carrying up by himself, challenging two defenders, gets wiped off the puck. And Mansfield takes it back now, wrapping up around the boards, but not out. Farragher with the dump in, and Mansfield's going to get a change here. Burns back to retrieve for Milford. Neutral zone now, trying to get a handle on the puck with Mobilia, but unable to. Shane Piotti back with it, and now picked up by Doherty. Billy Grant over across the line, dumps it in wide. In to get it is Shane Doherty. Played over to Hoffman, shot in front, saved by Ireland, and covered up. A big save early on for Brian Ireland. As you see, he's into this game. Well, it's nice to see. It's not good to see that breakdown in the offensive zone, but it's good to see Ireland is up to the test tonight. He had a tough game last game. Had a couple easy ones in, but he's on point already in this game. Puck deflects into the netting here, and they're going to keep it in the zone, saying it went off a Milford stick. No, it's early, but Milford's legs looking a little sluggish so far tonight. Uh, talking to uh, captains Croto and Burns before the game, apparently there was a, a sickness going through the locker room. Not uncommon. And it's pretty much going through all of Milford. Ooh, that one went off the head of Drew Weil there. So hopefully everyone's uh, recovered and ready to go tonight. Dealing with sickness myself, but feeling a lot better right now after going through a week of pain and frustration. <laughs> no one cares, Patrick. Nope. Moving on. Okay. Wheeling with it is Billy Grant dancing in. Shot and a score! Firing past Ireland. Mansfield's got the early 1-0 lead two minutes in. Not the kind of start Milford wanted. And that's just kind of lackluster defense right there. Yeah, lack of communication is my guess. It's not like he was doing anything special. He just weaved his way in and out of the, the zone and took a shot. Had a nice tour of the offensive zone on his own. Wasn't really challenged all that much by the defenders. And that's where you need your defenseman to really step up and set some precedent. Puck dumped in by Milford here. Back to yes, Mike Arnold on defense for Mansfield. Arnold looking to go D to D to Evan Kershaw. Said now up the wing with it. Pass through center and collected there by Max Hoffman. And then shot into the glove of Ireland. He holds on, we have another whistle here. Can't remember the last time we were at the Hopedale Arena with a lead <laughs> for an opposing team in the this early on. Very true, it's usually Milford who does have a good habit of getting on the board early. Mansfield overall right now, four and five. 
Milford eight and three in a game that they really should be in. But still early and much hockey to be played. Still here as the refs talk things over about where the faceoff will be. I'm not surprised uh, to see the sluggish start by Milford. Yeah, it's been nearly a, a whole week um, since they've been in a game, and due to the snowstorm, I think they've been out of school without practice at least a couple of those days. So, not surprised to see this slow start. Yeah, having to reschedule and kind of stop the flow of your game and then pick it back up again. Can be tough on team. Puck is back in the Milford zone, touched up by Captain Croto. Play will come back to the Mansfield end. Nice job of Sam to sell that icing. In net tonight for Mansfield is junior goaltender Anthony Visconti. And we'll see what he has to offer as this game goes along. Puck dumped down again and another icing from Mansfield. Milford's got to find a way to win one of these draws and start getting some pucks on net. <laughs> Off the draw here. Face off one back to Wild. His shot gets deflected. Proto shot skips in from the point. Gilliatt behind the net, looking for options, and elects to go back to the point again. Croto back to Gilliatt. Gilliatt cycles down low for Mobilia, trying to throw the body, but getting position on him was Will Kelleher. Jared Collins, one of the captains, plays it up ahead and finds Pat Sunderland. Sunderland loses the puck for now, taken back from by Jared Collins. John Burns' dump attempt out of the zone doesn't get there. It goes off his own player. Aiden Wow caves in a Mansfield player on a good hit there. Mobilia loses it, but it goes right back to Gilead. Gilead on the near side here. Plays it down low. Croto in deep to play the puck. Centers it toward the net. And puck gets deflected on a good stick there by Will Kelleher. He carries it up now. He's got an angle. A little backhand and a good save there with the pad from Brian Ireland. Burns staples his man to the corner. Now in deep to, pl to play it. That was Pat Sunderland. We're gonna have a whistle here. And Milford is gonna be shorthanded for the first time tonight. Oh, there's the broken stick. I believe that's the stick that caused the infraction on the, the, uh, the slash. So the first power play of the night goes to Mansfield, and here's a good look here. Shot gets deflected. Billy Grant again walking his way in. Dangerous so far in the early going. And he controls now. Manages to stay on side. Good effort there from Matt Farragher. Grant trying to dish off to Farragher. Just a little bit too far ahead of him. Farragher plays back to the point for Piotti. Back to Farragher. Looking for options. He's got Grant in front of the net. I think they're trying to get it to him. Jared Collins. Back to the point here. Return to Collins. Shot and a goal! Collins with a rip to the top corner. Beating Ireland and Milford's in the early hole. And this is not the time for them to get down on themselves. That was just a good shot on a power play. Uh, you know, the defenders on the kill were doing a decent job, uh, but eventually there's gonna be a hole whenever you have a power play, and uh, he found the hole and exploited it. Mansfield really has their legs going early on tonight. Showing good quickness on the puck. Drew Wild trying to get his team back in it. Takes to the corner and plays in deep. But quickly on it is Shane Piotti. He plays up and Mansfield's right back out of the zone, transitioning the other way. 
This is dumped in from just on the other side uh, of the center ice line, and that's going to be icing. So face off to the right of Visconti. Not sure Milford's even recorded a, a shot on him just yet. Burns throwing one toward the net, gets deflected off of Mansfield, sticking just wide. Chipped out of the zone. Croto quick to play it back in. Billy Grant back with the puck now. Trying to get in ahead of Spiegelman, he does. And takes out his man with a head of steam. Croto taking the brunt of that one. Good four pressure from Mansfield as they manage to keep in the zone and keep things going. Milford under an attack right now. Just an absolute siege it seems in four check. Jonathan Chase carrying out and return back to Mansfield. And very close call there. I'm saying they're man, but Mansfield pretty aware on their line change. Puck dumped in on Ireland. He's going to cover up here. It's nice to see Croto take the body on Grant. Even though he knew Grant was the bigger player, had a little bit of speed, but no one else was stepping up and getting a body on him. Hopefully that'll translate to the rest of the team, how they want to start playing him. Slow him down however you can. Dump attempt not cleared. Shot from the point gets tipped in, in the goal. Ireland not happy with that one. On a soft redirect there, it really changed the, the speed and direction of the puck. And I'm not sure we got a stick on it, but it doesn't matter because it's three nothing Mansfield right now. Only about seven minutes into this game. And it looks like we have a timeout here from Coach Balzarini trying to settle down his troops. Throughout this first seven minutes, Milford's just been a step behind seemingly on everything. Mansfield's been quick to close in on players, get to loose pucks, and make really smart transitional plays out of the zone. It all starts with making just the simple little passes and plays like that. Play back on now. Shot attempt gets blocked down. Try to clear, but not out. Mansfield still all over everything. Griffin Lynch back down low. Should note that we do have a goaltending change here. As Brian Ireland has been pulled in favor of Eric Luce here. So an early message being sent and trying to shake up the team. Coming in as Mansfield here, breakaway shot off the post and recovered by Lucier. Oh my, that was a close one. I thought that went in. <laughs> he went to the opposite side and just barely missed it. I think that was Farragher on the attempt there. Wow. I thought they came out of the net after going through the goal, but I guess not. So Lucier gets one. Nice to have a little luck. Mansfield controlling, nice tip pass out of the zone, but taken by Croto, makes a quick backhand and pursues Gilliatt. Gilliatt trying to staple his man to the corner. In to help is Aiden Wild. Just layers upon layers though for Mansfield as they quickly transition right back out of the zone. But just offside here, so we'll have a face off outside of the zone. Lynch against Hoffman on the draw. Lynch wins it back for Mobilia, who plays up ahead of Schuler, but too far ahead. And Mike Arnold will play D to D. Back to Arnold looking for his option, picks his head up. 
turns it over to Griffin Lynch. Lynch takes the hit, but Schuler takes the puck. Schuler finds Wild. Wild just loses the handle on the puck. Oh, I think he picked his head up just a second too early there. Never fully received the puck. That's a tough break there for him. Yeah, if the Hawks are going to get back in this, they need Wild to come alive here. Wild leaves off for Lynch. Lynch shot on and a save there by Visconti. Looks like he got it with the toe. Good shot on net there from Lynch. Shane Doherty across yeah, the line, off. another offsides. Good shift by the first line though. Uh, Wild lost that puck, would have had a nice shot on net. And then Griffin Lynch with a decent shot as well. So looks like they're coming around slowly, but still plenty of game left for them to figure this out. 5.45 to go here in the first period. Off the draw, dumped in by Mansfield. Croto trying to go D to D, but miss, misleads Burns a little bit too far ahead. Aiden Wild has the puck and he dumps it in. Visconti slows it down for his defense and Sean Farragher playing over to Will Kelleher. Back to Farragher. Don't give him room, guys. Don't give Farragher him up the wing to Chapiotti. Nice who nice lays it ahead for Ryan Whitman. Croto in a race with Whitman. Whitman closing him on in on him quickly. Center toward the net, saved by Lucier. Gilliatt able to get the puck back. He's got a man on him, that's Will Keller. Keller quick to close. And Mansfield right back with the puck. Aerial pass, a little too high, and an icing here. Play will come back to Visconti's end. First line back out there for Milford. Nice nice Schuler, a little backhand toward the corner. Play there by Evan Kershaw. Played up now, we're gonna have a breakaway here. Mansfield, that shot and a score! Jared Collins makes it four to nothing for the Hornets. Flipping a backhand past Eric Lucier. Quite the hairy start so far for Milford. Getting put into the early hole. Third line now out there for them. Centered by Balzarini. Carrying up is Farragher. Farragher loses control of the puck and unable to keep it in. But dumped right back in by Kershaw. The senior on defense for Mansfield. Bad little pass out of the zone, turned over, and a quick shot back on Lucier. He's able to cover it right up. Shane Doherty wins the draw back for Mansfield. Kept in, played along. Steiner attempt sticks aside by a defenseman. Played up at Spiegelman looking for Jonathan Chase. Go, 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 go. Chase with the puck now, trying to find options. Has it tipped right off his stick and a good poke check there from Ryan Whitman. Mike Arnold with the puck now. He plays it up, finds Doherty. Whitman turns it over to Balzarini, and we have a penalty here on Jonathan Chase for that hit on Ryan Whitman. And Mansfield back to the power play, looking to extend this 4-0 lead. Croto's also in the box. Do we know why? I Not a may, clue. I thought he might have slashed uh, the player, the Mansfield player on the, uh, on the breakaway in the goal. There was a call on that, you're right, Rob. Shot here from the point, score! Evan Kershaw, clean through. Beats Lucier on the glove side, five to nothing for the Hornets. 
Uh, this is tough to watch. Game keeps going from bad to worse for Milford. And right now their body language just not looking too good. Off the faceoff, Schuler going in one on three. Soft little backhand in on Visconti. He covers up. That'll get a faceoff in the offensive zone for Milford. Lynch in the first line out there. Tie up off the draw. And a good play by Mansfield. Trying to clear but unable to. And a whistle here. Come out of the zone. That is indeed the case. Dumped in and collected by Mike Arnold. Up the wing trying to get out but unable to. Now back with it, Sean Farragher playing up, playing up the wing for Cullen Murphy. Murphy finds his man, it's Steve Shipman, he loses an edge and turns it right back over to Milford. Now Drew Wild, he's got a little bit of space to work with, might have a two on one, Wild carrying in, shot gets deflected off the stick it looked like. Good poke from Sean Farragher on defense. Wild was thinking shot all the way there, although he might have had a better opportunity with his other man with him, maybe had a little more space. One can certainly understand just wanting to try and create some offense for your team. Sure, any shot on goal right now at this point is a good play. Mobilia down low finds Gilead. Gilead trying to center for Wild just a little bit behind him. Down low, Gilead with the puck now. Unable to keep it in Stansbury, but a good hack to his defensive partner. He loses it. Now carrying it is Chad Piotti. Finds his man. Shot high over the glove. That was Pat Graham with the attempt there. A little bit of shaky defense from the Hawks there. Kind of getting caught flat-footed by a very quick and aggressive Mansfield Hornets team. Faceoff goes right in on loose here, plays it back for Burns. Burns, Croto with a man on him. Now taken back by Balzarini, a nice little chip pass to Spiegelman. Spiegelman trying to play it back to Balzarini. Puck hopping over sticks and goes right back to Mansfield's way as Pat Graham has it. Piotti played back for Graham. Graham looking for options in front, finds no one there. Spiegelman on the puck. Has time and space, and may, they might have numbers the other way, but a good poke check there from Evan Kershaw to disrupt the play. Go, 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 go. Burns with the puck now. Up to Croto. Croto trying to go a little east-west game. Croto down deep, looking for options. Croto throwing toward the net. Saved there by Visconti. Puck squirts loose to the other corner. Croto starting to show some legs now. And lead by example. Puck at the point. Shot in and it's handled nicely by Visconti. Yeah, Croto trying to single-handedly will the puck into the net. And that's the kind of effort that Milford needs right now if they're going to get back into this game. Yeah, you'd like to see that attitude trickle down to the rest of the team. Face off to the right of Visconti, second line out there now of Wild, Mobilia, and Gilliatt. Aiden Wild with the puck, has two men on him, plays it back to the point, but unable to keep it in. Now this is gonna be trouble here. Carrying is Billy Grant, Grant centering, shot. And I'm not sure if Lucier got a piece of that, but it's not I in the I net. I think he did, I think it went off his shoulder. He got over there quick. He, he's got decent movement left to right, Lucier does. Mobilia losing the puck in Mansfield really quick to turn the puck back the other way. 
Billy Grant over the line, trying to deke his way in, get separated from the puck. Mobilia has it now. Nick Mobilia trying to clear the zone, does. He's got Gilliat. Gilliat played up for Wild with about 20 seconds to go. Wild, dancing in, avoids a check shot, and a wow. score! What a goal. Aiden Wild showing some soft hands and some good offensive awareness, taking the job and doing it himself. Getting Mansfield on the board before the end of the period. Five to one now. Oh boy, they needed that. Big time. Now they can at least go into the locker room. On a positive. With a point on the board. What an effort there from Aiden Wild. Narrowly avoiding a body check. It's funny, most of the goals uh, Aiden has scored on, this on. season that we've seen have been highlight reel goals. Very hard, yeah, very hard nose and has a good drive for the net. And it pays off. Puck dumped out by Mansfield. That's going to do it for the first period. Mansfield showing their skating legs tonight, getting the first five goals of the game. And Aiden Wild just answering with about tw less than 20 seconds to go in the period as his team trails five to one. We'll be back for second period coverage coming up after this. We're returning now for the second period here in Hopedale. Five to one Mansfield with the lead after one and back in net now for the Milford Scarlet Hawks is Brian Ireland. And you hope that Coach Balzarini had some encouraging words to say for his team as they try and dig themselves out of a big hole here. Gilead on the puck now, dumps it back in. A little bit of sloppy play for Mansfield right now in their own end. Flipped up and out of the zone. Croto quick to transition back the other way. Gilead absorbs the hit and goes in deep for it. Will Kelleher ended up fighting for the puck. Kept him from Croto. Croto shot into the glove. That one was going to go wide anyway, but Visconti not taking any chances there. And through the first 40 seconds there, a good shift for Milford. Taking it in Mansfield's direction. Starts one shift at a time. And they just got to keep their legs moving here, trying to keep up with Mansfield's speed. Shot right off the drop and Wild goes wide as it hits a body. Lynch on the puck, down deep centering toward the net and tipped away by the defender. Shane Doherty trying to clear it out. One timer attempt whiffed on there from Griffin Lynch. Tough break for him, but Drew Wild's got the puck back now. It's in his feet. Wild uh, trying to leave it off for Lynch and just missing the puck. He's having a rough start to this period. But otherwise, things looking good early on for Milford here in the second. As the first line applies some good pressure. Let it head now. Max Hoffman with it. He's got Doherty with him. Hoffman behind a man shoots wide. And a wild quick to collect the puck. Ridden off the boards on a good hit by Billy Grant. While trying to recollect. Instead taken back by Hoffman. He loses it but plays it back to his defenseman Evan Kershaw in the process. Puck popping up along the boards and played into the zone by Mansfield. Quick to get it is Milford. Spencer Lathrop on the puck. Played it for Schuler. He trips over a man. Boys, and right Grant right twists it back the other way. Leading ahead for Kershaw. Kershaw looking for a centering attempt. Played it. Oh, just on the line there. Tricky little play there. D d went off a stick and settled down right on Ireland's side on the open net. Fortunately, they were able to recover. Piotti, D to D, finds Kershaw. Kershaw with his head up and tip toward Billy Grant. Wild over the line with it now. Swallowed up by some defenders, but sticking with it. Dancing through, turned over. Shane Piotti cleared out of the zone, dumped down, and another icing here for Mansfield. Play comes back to their end. Better pressure from the first line. 
Uh, just missed on a couple opportunities. Not quite there yet on being on the same page. But it looks like they're headed in the right direction. Mobilia win the draw ahead. Play back, burn shot, flutters toward the net and it hits the side of it. Steve Shipman trying to play it out. Burns kips it in, but only for the moment. Tipped out now and collected by Chad Piotti. Piotti finds his man. Shot gets deflected by Croto in toward the slot. Now taken back by Aiden Wild. Wild trying to find his way through. But Mike Arnold with a good defensive play, getting the body on him. Arnold with playing the puck right now. Plays up ahead and just past his man, Pat Graham, who didn't see the puck. Mobilia attacking one on three. Really hard wrist shot there. He got a lot on that one. Shot from Visconti. Correction shot saved by Visconti. Puck dumped back down and another icing for Mansfield. The ice is starting to tilt in Milford's favor. A lot of nice shots on net. Keep testing this goalie. So faceoff will be to the left of Visconti. First line back out there now. Do you happen to know uh, the goals against average for Visconti? Well, I'll get that to you eventually. Play back on here. Played around to Kelleher. Kelleher, high backhand, nearly Hang hitting out. a child here in the stands. Thank goodness he's okay. That was a close call there. It doesn't take much to get an injury from these pucks. I should know, I once broke my ex-girlfriend's six-year-old brother's nose on a soft little flip. <laughs> Doesn't help that it's pretty freezing out today as well as in here. Might actually be a slight bit warmer in here without the wind chill. Mansfield looking to clear the zone. Successful in that. Colin Murphy dumps it in behind Ireland. Joel Olsen in on the puck. Lynch challenging him into support Stansbury. And Schuler will lift it out the other way, playing ahead for a while. He takes a hard hit there. Good check off the puck, made by Will Kelleher. Olsen laid up ahead just a little bit too far. Stansbury back to get it. Plays over for Lathrop. Lathrop up and finds Gilead coming out of the zone. Gilead one on two, has a man on him. Gilead cutting toward the net. Now behind it, looking for options in front. Gilead twisting. In the corner, cutting in, and a shot attempt gets deflected in behind the net. It's a shame he didn't notice Schuler in front. He had him with a decent look twice. He couldn't get in the puck. Stay on him, stay on him. Olsen able to play up to his teammate, Farragher. Not out of the zone, though. Croto has the puck just tipped off his, his stick by a good play from Mansfield. And it looks like we have an offside here. Face off to Ireland's left, and Nick Mobilia out to take the draw against Matt Farragher. Puck play back to the defense, but out of the zone. Covered there by Shane Piotti going D to D. Finding Kershaw. Kershaw up ahead, finds his man. That's Pat Sunderland. Sunderland leaves it off. Here's an open chance there. Shot and a save there by Ireland. Mobilia trying to gain some speed. Has the puck tipped off his stick. Mansfield having really active sticks tonight, and it's made a difference for them. Disrupting lots of plays for Milford. Croto twisting with it at center ice now. Has some space to work with. That's quickly closed off and then taken by Jared Collins. He's got a burst of speed trying to beat out Burns here. Burns with a good stick though and, and a good closing speed. Able to shut down that play. At the point now, played over to Kershaw, just a little bit ahead of him, but he's got it now. Kershaw head up, shot on, 
And he deflected down by a body. Get on him, get on him, get on him. Make him cross it, make him cross it. Mansfield starting to get their legs back in. Left off here, Gilliatt with an opportunity going one on one shot, goes off a stick. Another opportune chance foiled by the stick of Kershaw. Mansfield getting in the way of everything, not letting much get to Visconti. Drew Wild trying to gain some speed to the outside shot, cut down by Visconti. Kershaw with the mobilia all over him. Alex just flip it right out of the zone, and we'll see if this is enough for icing, and it looks like it will. It's important for Milford to just to keep getting pucks on net and challenging Visconti, because he has not faced nearly enough. Yeah, it seems to me like Milford has stepped up their four-check game a little in this second period, and that seems to be cutting down on uh, Mansfield breaking out. They are really good at coming out of their own end making nice passes. Grant leaving out for Doherty, back to Grant. He's got a man beside him, that's Hoffman. Puck goes around the boards and all the way back out of the zone. Back to collects his What's the wits. Mansfield cutting off that exit attempt. Shot right into the body of Jonathan Chase, good block there. Let up ahead for Schubert, but he can't control it. And Lozowitz dumps it back in. Ooh, risky pass there. Off the stick of chase. Correction, Mobilia, sorry. Tony Mobilia with the puck. Head up looking for option, options here. Lynch playing up after Schuler. Probably should have just gloved that one down instead of trying to wave out with the right stick. There, right there. Mobilia quickly back out of the zone, finds yeah, Wild, yeah. and we have a two on two here. Wild trying to lay ahead for Schuler, but another good stick from Mansfield as they ice it back down the other way. Ireland plays it back for the referee. Yeah, Wild had Schuler, and Wild knows he's going to get double teamed in that situation. Schuler was uh, right in the slot, and Wild just couldn't get the puck over. Mobilia versus Connor Hall. Milford has the puck, they dump it in deep to the corner. Gilliat, body checking his man. Mobilia, tough attempt there, just missing his check. Shot from Wild, gets deflected again. Burns trying to keep it in, unable to, but quick to play it back. Mobilia has it again over the blue line. Mobilia looking for options. Shot from a tough angle goes wide, but collected by Burns at the point. Now back down low. Mobilia being challenged there. Shane Piotti. And turned back over for Will Keller. Puck kept in, but only for the moment. Pass goes off. Escape from Mansfield. And now Burns back to control for Milford in their own zone. Trailing 5-1 to one with about six minutes to go in the second period here. No goals in this period. Quite the contrast to the previous period. Hit there from Wild, taking his man down. And skating ahead with it is Will Keller. He's got some space. He's going to wind up and shoot and handle nicely there. Right into the glove of Ireland. He takes the whistle. Well, it starts with the defense first for most hockey teams. And even though they haven't scored this period, they've been able to shut down what Mansfield has been trying to do. And that's a plus. You can take that into the next period, try to find your offense. No doubt about it. Mansfield looked like an unstoppable machine in the first period. But so far in the second, Milford's been able to weather the storm and throw Mansfield off their game a little bit by moving their legs a little more and trying to apply the body some more. Olsen carrying the puck into the slot, whips on the shot. Now goes behind the net, trying to center it. Olsen, soft little backhand, played nicely by Ireland. Good keep in there, and a stick by Cullen Murphy. Another keep in here, Piotti looking for a chance. Piotti loses the handle on the puck. Dump back down low, and Mobilia will try to go D to D for Lather. Just a little bit beyond him, but Drew Wild will collect there. He's got a man lining him up. 
in the form of Steve Shipman. Oh, weird bounce here, but able to recover for Mansfield, Shane Piotti, but we have a whistle. Power play for Milford. And Milford's gonna get their first power play of the game. See what Coach Fowl sends out on this power play. That was a senior Shipman now going to the box. A unlucky bounce from Mansfield, but still very fortunate to be able to recover and keep that one out of the yawning net. Lynch kicked out, Schubert wins the draw back, Burns, D to D to Crota, one timer. And it looks like that hit a Mansfield player in the skate. That is limping around, there is Will Kelleher. Puck dumped in. Behind Ireland, no oh, near turnover there. Matt Farragher applying the pressure. The communication has not been there yet for Milford. They're just not talking to each other. That's key. Center attempt here, tipped on, and a good save there from Visconti. Burn sells the puck, shot goes wide. Mansfield looking to skate to safety, unable to, chip back in, but handled there by Will Kelleher. Kelleher skating in circles with the puck, he likes to go D to D as they burn off a few extra seconds and dump it back down. Shot here blocked down from Croto, and that's gonna be a hooking there. It partly looked, in, it looked kinda incidental, but a penalty nonetheless. As the stick seemed uh, to get caught. I think caught. what happened there is Croto lost sight of the puck and he thought the man in front of him had a shot on net. So he just pulled him down. Either way, that's gonna spoil the rest of that power play. That's too bad. Near chance for Schuler there, right on the doorstep on a good tip with Visconti up to the challenge. Stansbury behind the net looking to gain some speed, trying to play it up ahead. A cut off there by Billy Grant. Grant shot into the glove on a quick wrist shot. Yeah, Grant's not the fastest player or the quickest player, but he's great with the puck, good hands, and he's big and he uses that to his advantage. He protects the puck when he has it. He makes smart plays. Puck dumped around here for Milford, not out of the zone. Say that, but only temporarily. Play back in, another offsides here. Crossing over the line was Mike Arnold, but a man was already in there. Is that a too many men penalty? Let's see what we got here. Not sure if they're just questioning the offsides. The penalty box door's not opening up. Nope, there he goes. And you're absolutely right, Rob. Good call there. Jared Collins going to the box for Mansfield, which will negate their power play. That's a break for Milford. You really don't see that call too much in high school hockey. But when it's that obvious, it's nice to see the refs respond. So we'll have some four and four play here for about a minute. And with about three minutes to go in the second period, again, Milford trailing five to one to the Hornets tonight. Played up ahead for Mobilia in his skates, and that's too bad. He would have had some space to work with going one-on-one -on -one against Will Kelleher. But instead, we have an icing. Shane Doherty to take the draw from Mansfield against Nick Mobilia. Face off one by Mobilia. Back to Tony. Along the line now, Doherty. Has it on the end boards, he likes to go back to the defense. Kershaw calling for it, he has it, looking for his options. Kershaw dancing through players, sets up for a one-timer and a good save there from Ireland. Coming off his line, challenging the shooter and making the save. Yeah, great slide over by Ireland. 
He knew that one timer was coming. Doherty now against Lynch. Doherty wins the draw back to Kershaw here. Shot on a save by Ireland. He covers up again. Face off to Ireland's right. One by Mansfield, D to D. And apparently still in the zone. That was a close one. Farragher dumps it in deep, finding Hoffman. Hoffman takes a body from Mobilia, and they're going to call that one. Uh, what's the call there? Seemed like borderline boarding. I mean, it wasn't a terribly aggressive hit. And it looks like Mansfield's player kind of spun into that one, setting himself up. But yeah, and the angle that he took was okay. I was okay with that. He was per he was uh, parallel to the board, so it's not like he's going straight at the boards to hit him. And that's gonna put Mansfield on a very brief four and three power play. Croto will be out of the box in three seconds, and then 25 seconds after that, Mansfield will get their player back. In the form of Captain Jared Collins. Off the draw here, one back to the point. Kershaw with the puck, had a man right on him, able to make a quick play nicely right away. Shot goes off the side of the net there, and we have a whistle here. As the refs go right over to the Milford bench, I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm not sure they substituted the player correctly. Yeah, Wild's going to the box now because he came off the ice incorrectly. You'd have to have someone come from the box to the bench and then get off, and I think Wild jumped. I didn't see it, but that's my guess. It makes some sense. I think Wild jumped early. Refs explaining things to both benches while Milford and Mansfield's players have a little chat on the ice themselves. And still a four and three. Oh, now it's a four on two. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, it's good to see the players talking to one another. I mean, it's been a very hard, hard fought game so far, and usually you see some tempers boil over, especially in situations like this, but everybody keeping their composure tonight and just playing hard. Respect. As we learned earlier on the season, it is a key facet. Whiffing on that puck there was Billy Grant. And sent out of the zone now. And now the power play becomes five on three for about a whole minute here. Milford needs to survive this if they're going to stay in this game at all. Let ahead. Back to Kershaw now at the point as Mansfield gains the zone. Kelleher cross ice to Grant. Grant's got a lane here, but he's not going to take it. He said elects to play back to Kershaw. Back to Grant playing catch. Grant winds up and Ireland saw that one all the way. He was ready. Great job by the three Milford players out there. Not getting too overzealous. Staying within their zone. Trio of captains out there for Milford in the form of Lynch, Croto, and Burns. Shot right off the draw there and a good save by Ireland. That was Collins challenging him. A good wrist shot. Yeah, it was a great win back. I think Ireland took it up high in the mask. Face off again to the right of Ireland. Grant right in the slot looking for a chance, and I think Ireland got a piece oh. of that one. It looks like Grant was trying to go five-hole, and 
Ireland bursts right off the line, cut down the angle pretty nicely. Right over it, shot goes off of, wow. It looks like Croto, it sounded like. That didn't sound like a goaltender pad. Another shot, that one's right into the body. Ireland swallows it up. I think it was Burns who took the shot. Very rarely do you see Burns go down. Pucks can hurt. But uh, he was sacrificing his body there. Throw Even after he took that shot, he, he went to block another one. All right, 16 seconds, six seconds. And just a, under a minute now to go in the second period as we take beneath 40 seconds. One man out of the box for Milford. They clear out, that'll do it for the rest of the power play as they managed to kill that one off. That's a big one. Kelleher. Any points for that, but that's that's a win for the team right there. Let up ahead and Farragher with some speed. Farragher throwing toward the net. Juggled by Ireland there and fortunate not to see it wind up in the back of his net. Puck goes out of the zone with seven seconds now. Nice tip pass into the zone. Billy Grant looking for a chance. Grant deking in and just ran out of time. Oh, he might have had one there. Whew. Milford dodges a bullet as the horn sounds. A better period for Milford, but no goals for either team. Score remains five to one after two. We'll be back for third period action following this. Welcome back. We return now for third period action between the Hawks and the Hornets as Milford remains trailing five to one after two periods. All the goals coming in the first period. And a near miss at the end for Billy Grant as he just seemed to run out of time. Didn't seem to be aware of uh, how much time was left on that clock. So again, Croto is in the box right now to start the period. So something must have happened at the end of that period. Do you recall anything? Why would we? <laughs> We're only covering the game. Listen, I can only see so much. I am the camera operator, so I have an excuse. And me, my mind just wanders okay. at times. <laughs> That's not a good enough excuse. <laughs> puck played in behind Visconti as he settles it down for his defenseman. Kershaw with the puck now. He's trying to find his options. Elects to go to Will Keller, who carries it across the line. Grant covering for him on D. Laid back for Grant. Played to Kershaw on a nifty little backhand. Grant up ahead, just under the stick of Farragher. Burns takes him down. Right in front, center, and in a score. That looked like Jared Collins getting the tip on that one. And Mansfield goes right back to it. Getting on the board early on the power play, it's six to one now. And still remaining in the box is Croto. What did he do? Power play's over though. As Why would he remain in the box? He must have got uh, some kind of match penalty or maybe he kicked a puppy I don't know <laughs> something heinous clearly Spiegelman bumped off the puck on a nice shoulder by Shane Doherty chipped ahead nicely there by Pat Sunderland but met by Stansbury who clears the zone puck caught in the ref skate Spiegelman trying to play up ahead and now Chase with the puck stumbling gets checked hard there as he didn't see Pat Sunderling coming. Played in and handled by Max Hoffman. Sunderland with the puck over the line. Sunderland trying to center ahead. Cleared away, but right on the stick of Mansfield. Dancing in is Shane Piotti. He goes down. And that's a goal. Number 10 stuffed it in. I believe. No, wait. Piotti snuck it in there somehow. Wow. Well, this game's officially a mess, Patrick. 
Mansfield now really starting to pull away here, seven to one. Milford just lacking that instinct tonight. Wild over the line. Likes to put it to the corner in and around the board. Schuler looking to meet the puck on the other side. Takes a hit there by Mike Arnold. Shot into the netting there. Yeah, I think the, uh, the sickness that the team was talking about earlier before the game, I think that has a real effect on the play tonight. Wild just doesn't look like he's 100%. Mansfield completely out physicaling. Out physical. Is that a word? <laughs> no. I'm gonna make it one. I better contact Webster. <laughs> it seems that the people are pretty liberal about what gets put into the dictionary these days. So yeah. just take it with a grain of salt for now. It'll be there one day. Yeah, isn't swag in there? Yeah. All right, then fit out physically can be in there. Like bicycling. Shot on, save there from Visconti, another shot. And he squeezes the pads together. I apologize for my shaky camera work. Some fans are leaving early. How dare they? Yeah, they have Mansfield Green, I think. Well, they like they, they're trying to beat that heavy Milford Hopedale traffic. Because you know it's a gridlock. Kershaw carrying the puck now. Played up ahead and turned over. Aiden Wild looking to turn it back the other way. Looking to get a step on the outside. Wild shot goes just wide. He had the other side pick, but unable to successfully convert it. Yeah, he had that corner. He slammed his stick down in frustration after he missed it. Wild unable to handle that puck there, too. And Mansfield turns back the other way. Murphy playing it up to Billy Grant. Correction, Kershaw. Puck trying to get dumped out of the zone. Olsen now has it. Olsen to the corner, centering attempt there. And Colin Murphy unable to get it on the net. Good defensive play there for Milford. Mobilia taking a hit, still not out of the zone. Kershaw handling the puck, shot blocked down there from Stansbury. Another shot goes wide. And unable to keep it in at the point was Charlie Losowitz. We have a delayed penalty here as Mansfield's goaltender, Visconti, heads the bench. Milford touches up. And with 10.50 to go in this one, the Hornets will go back to the power play. That'll be Gilliatt heading to the box for the Hawks. In what has been a very frustrating night for them. on the verge of losing their second straight game. Hornets on the power play now with some puck movement. Whiff on the puck there. Near side, center attempt cut off there from Wild and he just throws it right back down the ice. Grant played up ahead for Collins. Collins shot handled by Ireland, but right at his feet, fortunate to clear it out, but not out of the zone. Wild scales it down the rink there. It's important for Milford to learn from this game because the schedule really does not get any easier from this point as wow. now firing home another one through the five hole is Billy Grant. Eight to one, another power play goal for Mansfield. Yeah, they're gonna learn a lot because that's all they can do from this game. And uh, thankfully it's during the middle of the season and not the end because they can uh, Come back from this. A 
Ooh, Bals Coach Balzarini looks like he might got hit by the puck there. It's just been that kind of night for Milford, though. Ooh, injury to insult, or yeah. Yeah, that seemed right. Okay, we're on top of our game. Yeah, too. about eighty percent. Puck played on Visconti softly as he covers it up. Just under 10 minutes to go now in this one. Mansfield looking to shore up their second straight win. Oh, a big hit there. Slap draw going penalty. down. Yes. Yeah. Get the just a tad chippy, but nothing too out of control here. Going to the box, Shane Doherty. So Milford to the power play here, eight to one in favor of the Hornets. And you'll see the second unit out here, led by Nick Mobilia. Mansfield able to clear on a high backhand out of the zone. Ireland out to slow it down for his man, Wild. It's about the third time we've seen some really bad communication between the goalie and the defenseman in this game. Croto with a head of speed, loses control, but Gilead recollects. Aiden Wild plays down low. Quick pass attempt on a little give and go there, but Kershaw defensively aware. And that pass, a little bit behind for Gilead. Oh, the scoreboard has gone blank. As play stops here. No power outage, just uh, looks like somebody might have kicked the electrical strip or something like that. Mobilia on the draw, wins it back for Wild. We'll get this thing going up ice. Play back for Mobilia, carries in across the line. Mobilia leaving back, finds a man shot wild from the point. That looks like it hit another stick. And again, we revisit that. Mansfield has had great stick position all night, really disrupting Milford's plays. And it's made quite a difference, I would say. Goalie change here. Leaving the game now, Anthony Visconti, and coming in for him, senior goaltender Brandon Brendan Roach. Fine effort for Visconti in that tonight. Although his defense sure did do a lot of the work in front of him. Cutting yeah, down some chances. Yeah, didn't see too many shots at all. Woo. But did his job. Puck played in, Ireland leaves it off for Croto. So we're back at even strength here. Played up dangerously through the middle. Third line now out for Milford. And dumped back in, but a little bit too far beyond the line and icing there. Now you just want to get through the rest of this game without any injuries. Exactly. But at the same time, you still want to try and build on what you've been faltering at today. But it can be hard when it's been such a discouraging game for the team. Spiegelman left off for Chase. Chase at the point. Drags it, shot in, and a save there from Roach. Skating up for the puck is Mike Arnold, laying it ahead for Joe Olson. Olson's got a man with him, it's Shipman. Olson's shot gets deflected. Now out for the Milford is Riley Burns. Getting some ice time here with just under seven minutes to go. It's 
a Burns pairing on D right now. I don't think we've seen that all season. A couple of big bodies. Cutting in toward the slot here, a good shot, and it's even better save there from Ireland on the attempt from Cullen Murphy. Sean Burns lays up ahead, but cut off by the oncoming Steve Shipman. Thrown toward the net, but wide. Joe Olsen in pursuit of the puck now. It's wild getting into it, and chipped ahead for Lynch. Lynch cutting to the outside, has his shot deflected on a good stick from Arnold, again with that stick positioning. Can't say it enough. It's really sucked the life out of Milford tonight, limiting their chances. Shipman on the puck, loses it. Wild chipping ahead, looking for an opportunity. Wild, a little backhand through the crease, goes wide. Sean Burns pinching to keep it in. Schuler, shot gets deflected, oh. another stick there. It looked dangerous, but that was Tim O'Brien clearing the net away with nice, nice position of the stick. Puck iced again by Mansfield. And they've done that a number of times tonight, and it hasn't really backfired on them at all. Milford's been unable to create too many chances off the draw. They've had plenty of them in the offensive zone. I think their number one uh, game plan was to uh, eliminate the threat of True Wild. And if you ice the puck, you really can't give them a chance to gain speed and come down the ice and score. So it's not a bad idea if that's what they were thinking. Back to the point, Stansbury unable to control. He's got a man closing in fast on him, Pat Graham, but safely out of the zone to Aiden Wild, who circles with it now into the neutral zone. Trying to cut in over the blue line, but a good poke check there. And that nullifies the threat. Played in and around, handled by Roach, left off to Charlie Lozowitz. Gilliatt on the interception in the zone, but loses control of the puck. Aiden Wild, quick shot on. That one goes right into the five hole. Wild with a good shot on there. Another icing for Mansfield. Balzarini leading the third line out there right now. Puck won by Mansfield. Whitman wrapping it around. Puck goes past Sunderland. Kept in, but only for a moment. A little bit of a race for the puck. Handled, though. Good play by Steven Lather. Jonathan Chase now across the line. Loses control of the puck. Mansfield again. Burn it back down. I don't think we'll have an icing here, though. As the refs elect to let it keep going. In on the four check, Pat Sunderland losing an edge. Farragher in pursuit, but Milford able to clear. Farragher again with the puck. A little poke from Mobilia. Good job there. Balzarini trying to backhand it back the other way, but still in the zone. Mobilia backhand, can't get it through the body of the Mansfield player. It's be Jared Collins. Farragher D to D, dangerously. Spiegelman on the four check, but unable to make the opportunity happen. Played up by Whitman. Farragher 
taking to the boards from Drew Wild. Schuler in to help. And Schuler will skate it out here. Schuler heading to his left. A little shot on, good kick save there from Roach. Along the boards now. And finally out of the zone, come back the other way is Cullen Murphy. Riley Burns wrapping the puck around out of the zone. Met there though by Tim O'Brien who goes D to D finding Mike Arnold. Arnold playing it back. Here's an opportunity, shot and that one got deflected. Not sure that went off Ireland or not. I think you got a piece of it with this glove. Patrick, what I'm seeing right now is Milford's just tired. I, they just don't look like the same team they've been all year. Really getting outplayed just by every facet of the game tonight. At the same time, though, you definitely got to give Mansfield a lot of credit. They sure, played. they did the one thing that uh, Milford couldn't do tonight, and that's capitalize on the other team's errors. Virtually every single turnover or breakdown, uh, Mansfield was able to transition into points. Shot here and a score. Schuler. Schuler with a snipe from the circle. Cutting the lead to 8-2 with 1.35 to go. Nice goal there for him. Firing it past Roach. But overall, as we were saying, Mansfield has had just layers upon layers of defense and limiting opportunities for the, for the Hawks tonight. Nice hit there from Mobilia. And it looks like they're gonna call him. Wow, why? That was a great hit. It's a clean hit. Yeah, Did he not have the puck? Seemed pretty clean to me. And uh, once again, I'm confused by a call. I'm yeah, I'm see. also confused as to why the faceoff is at center ice. Matching, S matching penalty. Yeah, still five on five play. Throwing toward the net, shot saved by Ireland. Rebound into the net, nine to one. Mansfield on a goal by Sean Farragher. Well, this is a definitely a statement Correction, game. Correction, nine to two, sorry. Yep, definitely a statement game for Mansfield as uh, a lot of people weren't considering them as one of the top teams in the Hockamock, but they for sure can play with anyone. As evidenced by a nice win over Canton earlier on in the season. And we'll be seeing Canton coming up here on the schedule for Milford in due time. As here's some frustration from Jonathan Chase slamming his stick against the glass out of frustration. He woke me up. Yep, I think I'll make the drive home. As we're now under a minute to go, 46.1 seconds to be exact. Someone else is going to the box for Mansfield. Chad Piotti. Fans getting restless. <laughs> Is he telling you to shut up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I believe it was an accurate commentary. He was restless. <laughs> he wanted the puck drop. <laughs> <laughs> Dumped out by Mansfield as the clock continues to tick down right in on Ireland. He plays it for Sean Burns. Who's just gonna keep this one behind his own net here? Burns slowly skating it out. 
Mansfield dump it down one more time. And that's just about going to do it. Once Chase again, you hear Chop and Chase just having a little temper tantrum on like the ice boards. right now. He hates those boards. Got to replace those boards. But that will do it as the horn sounds. And Mansfield came out and made a statement tonight against a very good Milford Hawks team, shutting them down with big speed and just great overall defense throughout the night, limiting their chances. They get their second straight win. Milford, on the other hand, takes their second straight loss. And left with some questions following this game. And we're gonna wrap things up here from Hopedale. For Rob O'Keefe, this has been Patrick Garropy presenting Milford Hawks hockey on Milford TV. We'll see you next time around. Again, the final tonight, Mansfield 9, Milford 2. We'll see you next time, everybody.